I hope this mic is working. I never tried to go live with the mic hooked up, so whenever somebody gets in here, let me know. But right now, we're following this herd of buffalo or bison. Um, if it's windy, I'll run into the wind and bust this wind song. So, but if I can't see them, whole herd right there, the stragglers. It's gonna be really windy. Start up best I can. So I just figure it might take you long. We're moving on pretty quick. So follow along if you ever get in here. <laughs> but we'll be pretty slow. We got here yesterday and stayed here back in 2020. Didn't get to photograph them. So we first first photographs of American bison in the wild. So tomorrow we're gonna hike the opposite way of our camp. Uh, it's about four and a half miles the other way. It's supposed to be uh, another spot where I guess herds hang out. So they're crossing this road up here. I'm just trying to get ahead of them. People are stopping on the road taking photographs. So Trucking along, so I'll just carry along and within a minute, so I'll just be carrying it. Of course, they're running through the and they got calves, so they be careful not to get too close now. They Cactus. God, I hope this wind's not too horrible. I hope the sound is coming through. Holy. See, I got my mic. So, try to order, find new wind socks for them. You can't buy just the wind socks. I'm not spending $130 again to get a whole new set. Just Lose them again. They're the Comica Minmo S. Uh, just wind socks don't stay on very tight, so they fall off pretty easily. Just stay on a couple hundred yards away from them. Top of a big hill, it's gonna go one way. When it's top of the hill, went hard. And I had to go the other way because in opposite directions when I saw these guys way off in the distance. So I walked about two miles to catch up with them. to photograph. I was just mainly coming out to do some scouting for tomorrow and figured I'd try to bring everything just in case. It seems like whenever you don't stuff happens. So uh, all right I don't know if you guys can see them right there. I'm gonna walk a bit further. So kind of stopping here and there. Got some big old bison out front. And I'm kind of researching some last night. And that mud might want to tell me if I'm right or not. But uh, there's 
saying that bulls pretty much are solitude throughout the year until mating season. The females pretty much run the herd and the males are kind of forming their own bachelor squad, bachelor herd. So I don't know how true that is, just something I saw online. I don't know if I'm seeing the park or not. It doesn't really matter to me. Really. Alright, let's sit down here. Bear with me. Somebody can mail it from the camo. I guess we get down the way up here. Uh, that I did last video. Um, so the video is coming out Tuesday. Uh, I was going to stay at night in the grass, but not a whole lot. Well, I wasn't holding a mic. Uh, that didn't pick up. Um, where I was, got here yesterday, where I left from yesterday was in Colorado. It was a, uh, oh, what was it? A reservoir where I did that. Last week's video or the week video video coming out this Tuesday there. Um, and I was gonna stay at night in Nebraska, but decided I just wanted to get here since this campground is first come, first serve, and it's free. And today's Friday, so I want to try to get here before anybody else. So I'll get this view on here. What? Can't go. around. I have no idea how this is coming out. But we'll see. First live. We'll see. First live. It's just that point. Watch your heart. Yeah, there you go. Buffalo right out here. Let's see if I can get this thing. Hopefully that's picking up. So, and they've already moved. Time it took me to do this. So, let's take this video. Oh man, this one rolling around. Now I'm using this new 100 to 400 that talked about in the last video. Oh, that's why it's bracket is loose. Oh, I was wondering why it kept dipping. There we go. Alright. There's a little baby calf. Oh, calf. Oh, this is a baby calf. See what we can get here. Never really been around bison before, so I don't want to get too close because it can be pretty touchy. Oh, uh, switch back to uh, under shooting manual auto ISO. I ain't got to deal with anything. Could probably shoot straight manual since they're just going pretty slow, but I don't need to. Like I said, it's not too windy. I wonder 
if I could get a little bit closer. I just want to go hard with them, so I don't know how they would act if they happen to see him. I think so. I know there's no bulls around here, but. <laughs> Alright. Um, so I can try to get a little bit closer. Tripod up and hold this. This is cool though. I never, last time I was here, I saw him way off in the distance at the campground. Now it's gonna be hold. Oh, no if I was in the shot or not. So, just getting a handhold. Tripod's kind of aggravating when they, they're moving. So, anybody here? Oh, one viewer who's here. Give me a give me a thumbs up if you can hear me. I don't know if this mic is working properly. You can hear me. Thumbs up real quick. Thumbs up. Thumbs down. Sound. Or if I just pulled a oh awesome thanks. Does it sound okay? Comment. <laughs> First live, I'm just trying to just trying this thing out. So, just getting here, just photographing some bison in uh in the Badlands. I don't know if I'm even still in the the park uh, boundaries or not. So, I don't know how long this live is gonna go. I'm just doing it for something to do. Uh, I know it is out. On here a little bit ago when I started today, I was just from the campground called Sage Campgrounds, free inside the park. And today I just want to do some scouting and find out where these guys are. About four and a half miles from my from the camp, there's a couple areas where apparently there's quite a bit of them, I guess, hang out. And so I was just going to scout today and go out there tomorrow and check out see if we can't get something also not far from here well i might try here in a couple days it's the grasslands i think you can camp out them for free it's the national grasslands and coming in here yesterday i saw a big herd uh hanging out there so it might be easier just to drive back from there so like i said sorry for this wind no wind sock so and they're moving on again i'm gonna zip this up bang Put my tripod up that way. Here in a minute, we can move. <sighs> Harvey is dying. I got to give him some water. It's hot uh, after being up in those mountains for so long in Colorado, up at 10, 11, 12,000 feet, and moving down here to the 2,500. It's a, uh, it's a bit warmer. I think it's in the, supposed to be like a high of 90 today, um, which really sucks in my camper because I don't have AC and, hold on. So I got to have like the door open, all the vents and all the windows unzipped, just create some sort of breeze and having that door open thing just gets covered with flies. <laughs> And I was here back here in uh, 2020 with my old camper, that piece of crap that I restored. It didn't have any screens because they had all been ripped out except for one. And so I had to have my, and the roof vent was duct taped shut. So I had a, uh, couldn't open that. And then, uh, so while I was here, it was in August of 2020. I had that back door open. I wasn't paying attention all of a sudden. They got all these grasshoppers, um, and I wasn't paying attention. I just happened to look up and I had about 200 of them inside the camper. And I, uh, I spent about a half hour or so killing flies and trying to sweep grasshoppers out. But, but now I got, and then at night with it getting, staying so warm at night, I can't sleep with the screens open because 
they got these super tiny bugs that can squeeze through the tiniest holes and just swarms the inside. And it's, uh, it's aggravating. I just want to be able to sleep. Who's in here? I'm just curious. Throw a comment up. Again, I don't know how this thing works, so. I'm new to this whole YouTube thing. Let's follow him. Hey! All right, bro. Is this windy? How windy is this thing? I'm assuming you can hear me all right. There's five people in here. Oh, okay, I've been spotted. Oh, well, I've been spotted by a big old one. Can you zoom in on these things? Oh, look at that. Let's see if I can, this thing's all crooked. Let me get there. They're grunting. I have nowhere to go. I'm pretty sure I'm slower than they are. Yeah, there they are. Let's see if we can photograph anymore. I wanted to get closer, but that guy sees me and he's big. I don't want to piss him off. So Tuesday, Tuesday's video, I talked about this lens, so I'll let you guys watch that, but great lens, the Tamron 100 to 400, it's just so much better than that 70 to 300. So, so much sharper. And I got that 24 to 70 Tamron to replace that, uh, my can Canon 24 to 70. If you watch it, I was I was not expecting uh, what I saw. So make sure you check out the video on Tuesday. Isn't it just you, Ray? <laughs> oh, there's two. Also down by the camp. There's all kinds of prairie dogs down there too, so I got some photographs of those. And little killdeers, little birds, the ones that make their nests on the ground for some reason and freak out when people get close. Like I didn't tell you to build the I didn't tell you to lay your eggs in the middle of the field where I walk. Oh, Jenny. Oh. How you guys doing, huh? Not working today, Ray. Oh wait, did you go on? Uh, did you go on terminal leave? Or when's that start? If you haven't, there's a there's an old gray gray bison. Uh, last work. Well, what are you doing? What time is it? I don't know what time it is. It's better than calling. <laughs> I can do what I want. Chat, and I ain't got to type. Oh, 3.30. Okay. What'd you do? Go in for 20 minutes and go home? The old gray guy sees me. Oh. Oh, I really want to get closer. I can hear them. I can hear them moaning and groaning. This is cool. Uh, I was gonna do, I didn't want to do a video today. That's why I just did live to try it out. Cause I know it's gonna be running in two. I just want to kind of relax so this is 
is what I kind of go through to get these videos made. I know most people know that. I try to show what I can, what or what it's like to just all the glory sides of living out on the road. Gonna hike four or five miles, blazing sun, glad it's windy. Just get out here and try to get some shots. So just I keep checking for this mic because I almost lost one the one time out there in uh, Gunnison when I was filming the trying to photograph the elk. Took my bag off, forgot it was clipped to my bag, and thought it fell off. So since I had two, I just left it. And then the next morning, I pulled my bag out and still attached. Thank God. <laughs> so uh, they're moving on again. I wonder if we can get a little bit closer. Let's try that. Sees me. Holy crap, it is windy. Can I open these clouds? There we go. Oh, look at that. I can see, uh, see the clouds now. How far away am I? I don't know. 200, 150 yards or so, probably. That one keeps looking at me. Look at this tree line over here. I can they get, get too pissy. I guess I can uh, try to hide from him. Harvey's on his own. <laughs> I don't know how much I can do for him. That's who they probably see. So. Staring pretty intensely at me. I mean, this camo's not doing too much for the area at all I'm here. <laughs> but, wish I had this when I was trying to photograph those elk. No, I can't. I sure as hell can try to run 45. <laughs> Why would these comments stay up? It's so aggravating. Let's see here. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it's kind of hard to show the experience through the video for what I'm seeing in person, but I'll try my best. I'm just trying to check comments here. Like I said, trying to figure this thing out. Uh, what else is in here? Okay, it's windy. My voice is clear. Alright, who else in here? They're showing four. I'm just curious. Um, There's only two people. I'm just curious who was in here, so just type a period, your name at least show up if you want to say anything. <laughs> Open the live chat for more. Messages just stay up. Community guidelines, whatever community guidelines. It's already been twenty five minutes. Sorry. How do you get closer to test them out before they start charging you? <laughs> oh, you need, a, you need a longer lens already. Let's, let's see here. Oh, uh, I don't know how I got service here. I don't know how good the hotspot is. Um, so I'll try to get a couple of these online. I don't know how good they're going to be. I'm just shooting around. Light's horrible. It's really bright. Um, but yesterday on the way here, it was crazy. Not a very good photo. I just pulled over and took some. 
but off in the distance was this huge storm and it was like a horizontal rainbow it was just it was crazy uh i'll throw that up too here in a while or later on i hope i hope the internet is as fast as where i was where i was in colorado where they just posted that other video tuesday's video uh I was getting a download speed of 135 and an upload speed of 20 megabytes a second, which usually takes, it takes like four hours to upload a YouTube video with a hotspot, and it only took about 20 minutes uh, the other day, so. Oh, I don't know, I call it a rainbow. It was, it was all colors of the rainbow shooting across the sky, how about that? Oh. Harvey, you want to give Harvey some water? Paint his butt off. And then I can try to try to move a little closer, I guess. I did play around doing some video on the phone or on my camera way out here that I can add into the video that I end up doing. But uh when I was trying to track them down, kept seeing them in the distance. He came to a hill, and they're on top of a where they're on top of this plateau here where I'm at. But from where I was, it looked like a ridge, and they're just on top of that ridge. Just they have a big sky behind them, almost like those photos you see from Africa of elephants walking in the sunset, all silhouetted in the background. Well, took a couple shots. I don't know how that's going to come out, but. I thought it was cool. Uh, your lights to breathe. Hey, buddy. The other person. Oh, he screamed. She didn't get caught, baby. Who's the third person? Come on now. Let me know who it is. Mystery person. If you're a mystery person, you're not subscribed yet. Subscribe, please. <laughs> uh, I was going to announce it on a video at some point, but I thought about it 500 subscribers and do some sort of giveaway. Um, I won't say what it is right now. So it's kind of trying to figure it out. But plan on doing one, then at 1,000 subscribers, I'm going to do a lot bigger one. It'll be a good. Good giveaway, I think. Um, so, you guys, some, some, someone's across this video and aren't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. So, when we hit 500, you can be in the giveaway. So, there you go, bud. But anyway. Oh, let him drink his water and try to move closer. So out of the four people, I know two of you that you guys haven't been out here before, but anybody else been out here in the Badlands area? And also, I didn't know this place was the Badlands. When I stayed out here in August 2020, when I looked it up online, read a review again, uh, they said you got to pay to get into the uh, into the park, and then the camping is free, but you don't come through any gate. Uh, I came from the south this time, and uh, last time I came in from the north, I never saw any. Well, I get in for free anyway. Uh, the military. And if you guys aren't military and like going to national parks and don't know, you can get the uh, America the Beautiful Pass. I think it's like 75 bucks for a year. For, for military, it's free, lifetime. But for everybody else, you pay, I think it's like 75 bucks a year. Um, and you get the pass. You can go into all national parks for free. And then also national forest and all that you can get um, a free date for a day use places that's free 
and then all the campgrounds if you stay at an established campground uh you get half off for uh with the American Beautiful Pass. Uh, here's what I do. I don't even, I've only stayed at a few paid campgrounds since I've been out here, mainly the state parks out in Oregon. That was expensive. And, but national parks, you don't have to stay at um, established campgrounds. You can just go out to the national forest and pretty much camp anywhere you want. I think you just gotta be like at least a, Hundred, I don't know if it's a hundred or three hundred feet off of any uh, any road, but a lot of them you can just I mean right beside the road too, because mainly they're just small dirt roads that it's not like heavy traffic. So if you like going out camping and all that, go to National Forest, camp for free. There's no sense in because a lot of them you got to pay like they charge you like twenty bucks a night. And all you got is a camping spot. They got a hole in the ground to crap in and <laughs> no power, no water. It's it's ridiculous. Um, it wouldn't, I mean, it's not as bad if you only got to pay like 10 bucks or whatever. And it's a little more established campground. But I'm not, because there was a place out in Colorado I wanted to stay at. Gorgeous. Oh my God, it was such a nice area. Just bought you some coffees. Thanks, right? <laughs> I don't need them right now. It's hot. <laughs> but thanks. I know what you mean. Um. But yeah, a place called what was it called? Oh, I can't remember now. Oh, Al Alre or I have no idea. Um. It was a place not too far away from, it was just north of where I filmed that video uh, in the San Juan National Forest way up when I was up there at 12,000 feet. Uh, it was a little further north of that. And, but again, it's like a tourist town and like that established campgrounds, like privately owned campgrounds, they're like $80 a night. And the National Forest right there, I was like, I'll just drive the National Forest find a spot in the woods and as soon as you start to go on the trail or the back road to go to it there's signs say uh no camping violators will be reported to the local sheriff i'm like you gotta they'll get their money one way or another um and the campground was like 28 bucks a night i was just it was crowded i was in a gorgeous area but it just was worth it to me for that i'm on a budget you can afford to pay twenty thirty dollars every time I want to sleep so I like free stuff who does it all right we're gonna move on and get real quick walk backwards I don't think it's gonna help but it might I know it's just Jenny and Rain here still well, I got Two people and five likes. That's awesome. <laughs> oh. Oh. I am from here, South Dakota, but slowly making my way to my buddies. Ray knows them. Buddy Hayden out in Indiana. They have a big get together every Labor Day. So we'll get out there probably last week of August or something. Uh, spend a few days with them. Yeah, I think they're staring at me pretty intensely. Flip this camera. Flip. Uh -huh. Zoom. Where's he at? Yeah, see, he's, they're, uh, they don't look happy, but, I suppose, close as they're going to come to me, let me go. Oh, yeah, I don't know. Well, there's more people here. All you do is be faster than the slowest person, but Harvey's faster than me. I know that. I 
it's finally stopped. I'm just glad they finally stopped moving because when I was tracking, I had to go down in the valleys and up, back up the hills. And I knew they were up here and they kept just walking across that hill here. And I was coming this way and they were just walking along. It looked like a ridge, but it was this big flat area. And I was just waiting. I was just expecting to come back up that hill into this area and be boom, right on them. <laughs> They cut across, so I'm glad that didn't happen. So, but this is what I do out here. Glad it came out. I almost didn't. I was just gonna relax for the day, go out tomorrow. But I haven't really done a whole lot of past week, a whole lot of photography. I was at that lake. I went there mainly because I knew I was getting this. Being a reservoir, I was gonna photograph some birds and all that. And where I was, the cool area to be, pretty much needed a boat. Uh, There's pelican and geese and all kinds of, oops, all kinds of wildlife, but you couldn't just couldn't get close to them. Photograph, got a couple ducks that wanted to hang out where I was. But what are you laughing at? How many are in the herd? Uh, at least a hundred or so. Uh, minimum a hundred. Uh, I know in the Badlands National Park, there is over 1,200 in the whole park. Uh, so I guess other than this herd, there's at least a thousand more. <laughs> yeah, but it's sad though. I mean, you gotta think 100, what, 150 years ago or so? I mean, there's thousands up, herds of thousands, man. It was just, um, I guess they got, re these got reintroduced back in, I think it was 1860, they reintroduced them. Yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. But it's nice that they're bringing them back. Um, I don't know if there used to be wolves or not here. I think there were years ago, but um, not anymore. Because last time I got here, I heard howling off in the distance. So I looked, I was like, I didn't know if they had wolves or not. That would have been awesome. But just coyotes. I love listening to coyotes. Wanted to go northwest this summer, but. I decided against it. Been on the road seven and a half months now. It's kind of crazy. It's already halfway through July. July, it just just started. But time flies. Um, so time to get to my buddies in Indiana. I've been on the road. I left. I got my camper in Indiana. I was hanging at his place. So I left December 4th to 22. Um, so how we get back to his place be what 10 10 months Sir, october november december um nine months nine months been on the road once i get to his place so also if you're from uh delph around delphi in indiana area uh things starting june towards the end of june going through september 2nd um they got the opera house there. They're having a photography show, and I submitted three of my photos and got accepted. So, uh, sent three good size metal prints that I already had printed off. Uh, uh, video, the last video I posted, no, two weeks ago that I posted, um, I threw that picture up of those mountain sheep from South Dakota from 2020. That one went in and another image I took from that same location and then one from uh, Montana. So if you happen to be in Delphi area, Indiana, swing swing through the Opera House, check out the photos, buy them if you want, please. <laughs> but yeah, they're for sale. And then I guess in August too, they have two different festivals there, so. 
I know Delphi, Indiana is not in everybody's map. It's a small town. It's a pretty good historical town, though. Uh, the Erie, Erie, Can Erie Canal runs right through it. So it used to be a pretty ritzy area. They are just chilling and laying down. I know at least two to four in here aren't photographers. Um, unless somebody else has commented besides two people. Sorry, I don't see your comments all the time because they don't pop up. I gotta keep clicking comments. So so aggravating. But yeah, so if the other two people are photographers that follow my channel this like i said this lens especially on the 5d uh you can zoom in so you can crop in so much and still keep nice nice sharp sharp image so even being this far away 150 yards or so away i can still crop in quite a bit and still get a clear image now also you only can crop in so far before you um i mean if you crop in too far also you can't print super huge but i mean i printed i printed a 40 by 40 of an image of the ocean i took in scotland and i cropped that thing down quite a bit and i was still able to blow it 40 40 by 40 and still a sharp image so um people to tell you you're gonna have like 40 some megapixels and all this to print huge images, prints 40 by 40 and all those. You don't. Those that 40 by 40 time I got done cropping is probably a total of like 14 megapixels or so and came out just fine. Um, I mean, the 45 megapixel cameras are, are nice. I want to upgrade mine uh, at some point, replace my 7D, make this my. Uh, secondary or my main landscape uh now that i want to do more wildlife also really like the i was thinking about nikon the z7 but i really don't want to switch then you know, i gotta buy new lenses and all that at least with if i go to the because i know those canon like r5 and all that uh when canon first came out with mirrorless they were kind of crappy but They've come a long way now and researching them on all that. The autofocus on it is just crazy because the auto autofocus points are the whole screen. And they'll just, no matter where you're at, you can lead it and it'll just um, detect the eyes and it just stays focused on the subject. And you ain't got to worry about moving your uh, focus points. Uh, as you're trying to pan and all that. So, and the R5, it is 45 megapixel. I was looking at, thinking about those, because definitely if I want to do more wildlife, uh, those the R5, I think it does, how much is it? It's like 80 frames a second? I might be wrong, I don't know. I think the R6, but R6 is cropped. Um, I think that thing is like, I think it's like 200 frames a second. I could be wrong. I'm just, it's a lot faster because this thing's only six frames a second. So you miss a lot of shots in between. Uh, but it gets the job done. And I've had this 5D for since 2016. It's actually the one I had from photography school. Uh, Hallmark Institute of Photography. Sadly, we were the last class to graduate. And the they allowed us, since we were last class, they allowed us to buy the equipment we were assigned, which was the 5D Mark III, that 24 to 70 lens I had, um, bag, tripod, a light meter, like a $600 light meter, and reflector, and a couple other things. We got it all for a thousand bucks. That was in 2016, where they just discontinued the 5D. And I told my roommate, I was like, you watch, I'm gonna buy this camera and the Mark IV is gonna come out. And sure enough, as soon as we paid, everybody bought it, the Mark, Mark IV was released. 
So, but also that thing started off at 3,500 when it came out. So, thousand bucks was a lot cheaper. So, they ain't doing much, but they're pretty much just large cows. So I. I that i think i'm pretty much wrapped up there's not much a whole lot to see i'm just gonna just sitting here out in the field staring at giant wild cows pretty much bison it's it's cool i never never been this close to well i have but at a farm where they're tamed pretty much but out here in the wild um, like i said back in 2020 when i was out here from the campground saw the herd way off in the distance but um, the first time actually getting this close and actually getting the photograph. So, uh, to, like I said, tomorrow I think I'm going to go out and hike the other direction. Like I said, I think it's around four and a half miles, um, and then do an actual video. So, but for those who tuned in, all five of you, appreciate it. I know a couple people came and went, but appreciate it first live just wanted to try it out and so hope you guys enjoyed this is what i get to play in whenever i want so it's fun times hey another guy another person who else is here throw in the chat yeah, jenny and ray who else is there huh gonna be one of those fail clips from people trying to pet a wild bison well i don't plan on it so stay on here i'll give you a so there's four more people than who's co been commenting throw a comment up just a period i just want to see your name i'll see who's in here <laughs> anybody bueller no no takers all right i'll sign out tune in uh Two weeks from now, I got a video coming out Tuesday, so the video I film here will be uh, the uh, Tuesday week after week after Tuesday. So catch you guys later, and as usual, see you at the top. <laughs>